This is part 102 of SQL Server tutorial. In this video, we'll discuss Rollup in SQL Server. Rollup is used to do aggregate operation on multiple levels in a hierarchy. Let's understand this with an example. We have this employees table here. Notice we have got employees in three different countries, US, UK, and India. Now, based on these employees table, we want to write a query that's going to retrieve salaries grouped by country along with grand total. So the result of our query should be like this. Notice for Indian employees, we are paying 12,000. For UK employees, 17,000. US employees, 22,500. And then we have the grand total. And if you look at the grand total row, the country column is null. That's because for grand totals, we are not grouping by any specific column. And then we have the grand total. There are several ways to produce this result. But the easiest and best way is by using Rollup with group by. So within our result set, we want two columns, the country and total salary. So we are selecting country column from employees table. And then we are applying the sum aggregate function on the salary column. And we are giving that an alias total salary from employees group by. And we are using Rollup. So we want to roll up on the country column. So that's going to give us subtotal as well. I have this exact same query already typed. So when we execute this, we get the salaries grouped by country as well as the grand total. Now, we discussed that there are other ways of doing this as well. Now, we can rewrite this group by query in a slightly different fashion. So I can also write this query like this, group by country column and I can use with rollup. So now when we execute these two queries, we should get exactly the same result. Now, we can also achieve this by using union all with group by. So let's make a copy of this. So now when I remove this with rollup from this query and when we execute this, we are going to get the salaries grouped only by country. Now, if we want the grand total, I can write another query. So let's make a copy of this one. Now within grand total, the country column is going to be null. So let's select null, sum of salary as total salary from employees. And for grand total, we are not going to group on any specific column. So I'm going to remove group by. So when we execute this query, we are going to get the grand total. Now we will apply the union all operator between the group by and our grand total query. So when we execute this, we get exactly the same result. Now we can also use grouping sets to achieve exactly the same thing. So let's again make a copy of this query. So we want the same two columns from employees table group by. Now we want to use grouping sets and then we define our groups. So we want to group by country. So when we execute just this grouping sets query, we're going to get salaries grouped only by country. Notice we don't have grand total. Now to get grand total, we are going to use empty parentheses. So this is going to specify that we want the grand total. So now when we execute this, we should get salaries grouped by country plus the grand total. So there are several ways of achieving the same result, but the easiest and best way is by using Rollup with group by. Now let's look at another example. So now we want to group salaries by country and then by gender. And we also want subtotals at country level as well as the grand total. So if you look at the result set right here, notice for Indian female employees, we are paying 4,000. Uh, for Indian male employees, 8,000. And for all Indian employees, so that's the subtotal for India country. So we are paying 12,000. Similarly, for UK female employees, 5,000. UK male employees, 12,000. When we add them together, 17,000. So for all UK employees, it's 17,000. So we have the subtotals at country level. Same is the case for USA as well. And then in the end, we also have the grand total. If you look at the subtotal rows, Notice gender column is null. Whereas if you look at the grand total row, both country and gender column is null because for grand total, we are not grouping on any specific column. 
So again, to achieve this result, there are several ways of doing it, but the best and easiest way is by using rollup with group by. So this query is very identical to the previous query. The only difference is in the select list. So within our result set, we want the gender column as well. So along with the country column, we included the gender column. And then in our to our rollup function, along with country, we're also passing the gender column. Those are the only two differences. Okay, so let's quickly look at that in action. So within our select list, we want the gender column. And we also want to roll up on gender column. So when we execute this, we should get the salaries grouped by country and the subtotal for country and then basically the grand total as well. Very easy. Now we can also rewrite this group by query like this. So within our result set, we want gender. And here we will say group by country, gender with rollup. Again, you know, when we execute these two queries, the same result. So if you look at the messages, look at that, 10 rows, 10 rows, and the output is exactly the same thing. All right. Now, let's see how to do the same thing using union all. So the first query here, you know, this is just going to produce total salaries grouped by country. But within our result set, we also want the gender column. So let's specify the gender column right here. And then we want to group by gender as well. So when we execute this, we should get the salaries grouped by country and by gender. Now we want the salaries grouped by country, that is the country subtotals. So in this case, we are going to select country. Gender is going to be null, and then sum of salary from employees. And then we are going to use group by just country. So this one is going to give us salaries grouped just by country. So these are like country subtotals. And then finally, we want the grand total. And getting grand total is very easy. Let's use another union all operator. And let's make a copy of this. Now, when we want the grand total, we are not going to group by any specific column. So we will not have the group by. Country is going to be null. Gender is going to be null. And we get the sum of salary. So now, when we execute these three queries, we should get the same result. But one thing to keep in mind here is the order of the rows in the result set is not the same. To control the order, you can use order by clause. We can also use the grouping sets to do the same thing. So at the moment, when we execute this, we are getting only the salaries grouped by country and then the grand total. Now, first of all, within our result set, we want gender as well. So within our select clause, I'm going to specify gender column. And then we want to first group by country and gender. Okay? And then we want to group just by country. So that's going to give us the subtotals for country. And then we want the grand total. So when we execute this, again, the result should be identical. Look at that. We have the salaries grouped by country and gender, then the country subtotal, similarly for UK and USA, and finally, the grand total. So we have those queries here using rule up clause with group by, using union all with group by, and finally using grouping sets. Thank you for listening and have a great day.